The film's last crew review, Night School. Night School. You ever go to Night School, Kane Dogs? Baby, tonight. Um, just day school. No, there was one time, though, where I missed my bus and I was at school until night. <laughs> Hey team, Megan Strachan here, and welcome to the Film, Film Slice, Slice Podcast. Podcast. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, Kane Diggly Wheelie, Kane Dog. Hello. And Bro Diddly Doo, Bro Man Richard. So Hello. Is, and Anglus, Panglus, Wanglus, Kanglus, Fanglus, Cactus. That is this guy. No, so, Franklin today, that's which, cause, is, that's cause, which is bloody good. I'm bloody good. Yeah, great. thank you. Thank the Lord. Good riddance. This week we're reviewing Night School. The School of Knights. That's it. Where ten men are trained in the way of chivalry and protecting uh, thine kingdom. Um, and no. No? No. Um, that's what I saw too. That's not right. This one's with Kevin Hart. and he, Yeah, Kevin Hart. And he, he goes to school because he, he didn't pass his GED. No, he's the king and he's no, getting a lot of people sure. trained. He's just lying to his with wife. Like swordsmanship. I thought this was a movie about him being a fish in a school of fish and it was night time. Night school. Okay. And Kevin Hart... He's a fish. Um, bear with us, listeners, as we uh, <laughs> as we figure out uh, what we are reviewing. Uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, let's figure that out. K-Dogs, you want to hit us up with an IMDb summary? A group of troublemakers are forced to attend night school in hope that they'll pass the GED exam to finish high school. Troublemakers, am I right? Oh, we, were, uh, we were troublemakers in school, weren't we, boys? Yep. I mean, Brody was. Hey. Nah, bro just wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Brody. Brody wasn't there. Brody did not go to most of high school. You also- really dislike <laughs> rocking any boats whatsoever. <laughs> and yeah. I was school captain. <laughs> <laughs> so a good array, a yeah. good a smattering, a smattering of uh, yeah. personalities. Hmm, definitely. Lovely. That's why you Fond- come back week after week to the Film Slice podcast. That's it. Because we're not all the same. We've all got our two cents to put together. So yep. together you get six cents out of this podcast. Yep. So really, we're losing money. Yeah, six I cents a week. I just realised that. We almost Dang. lost a dollar. No, we lost a dollar. No, yeah. The film slice crew resign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Our well, last episode. <laughs> let's kick it off. Well, this shouldn't be how we go out. <laughs> let's kick it off. Uh, when did you see the movie and what did you think? When did you see the movie? What did you think? Do you like the movie? No to the shit. <laughs> um, I saw the movie last night. Uh-huh. Uh huh. At a local cinema. Was there a school of fish there, by? <laughs> oh, yeah. Twenty people. There was about twenty people. Are there in the anybody cinema. school kids around me? <laughs> Anyone in armor? <laughs> <laughs> so that noise doesn't sound like laughing if it's only audio. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. Uh, by the way, audience, I'm doing a very horrible smile and looking off in a random direction, pulling a weird face. It just face. sounds like, yeah, yeah. you're having uh, a Oh yeah, wheel. might want to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I saw it uh-huh. last night at a local cinema. And you, I, you know how when you have low expectations for a film... I, you, I think we all know that a bit you, too well at and the you moment. Expect, <laughs> you expect it to be crap, and as a result, you walk out of a really bad film kind of going, yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Now, nah, this one was shit. I knew it was <laughs> shit. I went and saw it, and it was just as crap. And then I walked out and went, what a waste of my life. It was that... Yep, I hated it. There wow. you go. It was the John's most... coming in hot from yeah. the I was last so night angry. session. Brody, this, of this movie film? was infuriating to me. I hated every minute of it. There was maybe one bit I liked, and that was it. And I could have watched it on YouTube. This was this movie broke me. Right. I did not expect that. Broke me. I hated it. The movie. What did you think? Um, I went down to the old Wool World this morning. Ah, uh, the old and, World. Uh, yeah. And caught this film. <sighs> That's a joke. That's a reference to a podcast we did. It was episode like, 20... <laughs> like 10 <laughs> podcasts 10, 10 plus. It's definitely more than 10. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, down, down there amongst the rides and sheep, I... <laughs> also I, a reference to that <laughs> I caught, Go I back caught, and watch our Ocean's 8 podcast. Everybody. I caught this film and uh, it was better than I expected, as I did not expect much. And, in fact, expected trash. Yeah. So when uh, someone presented me with a plate of garbage, but there was also a fresh mint 
on, on the <laughs> on side this, of that plate. Uh, I accepted that mint. <laughs> And, uh, For what it was, yeah, th- a yeah, mint. Th- yeah. And you were like, "Ooh, a mint." Uh, still pretty bad. Yes, hmm. but uh, but there was there was a few moments that I enjoyed. There you go. And I very much enjoyed the overall message. I saw the movie on Friday, <coughs> and I had a I had a good time with it. I did go into it thinking that it would be rubbish. I'm not the biggest fan of Kevin Hart. Um, I think his best stuff is his improv stuff on like late shows and on I his really, own. He does he does this thing where he works out with yeah. other celebrities. I was going to bring this up, and, yeah, they, right. us, and they usually ch- like choose something they're all really good at. It. Yeah, so it's kind of funny because he's a really fit guy. Kevin, I was right. going to bring that up. Kevin Hart looks good in this movie, and I've never noticed that because I only usually see Kevin Hart next to like Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. And as a result, Kevin Hart always just looks like this mm. really weedy bloke. But by himself in a film... He works out a lot. He looks it's good. Like, it's like one of his favorite things to do is to just work out. Yeah, And he so he's good. really fit. I wish it was my favorite thing to do. I fucking hate it. I have, I have joined a gym and I am on a diet. So I saw the movie on Friday and I thought it was... I thought it was good. I didn't expect too much from it. Did you go um, to Woolworld or Cowtown? Uh, Cowtown, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Cow-town. just did some cow tipping before uh, before I watched the movie. It was good fun. Yeah, fair uh, enough. Well, if they're gonna serve you, you should probably give them a tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm not, not not the biggest fan of Kevin Hart, but I think that um, Tiffany Haddish absolutely stole the show for me. Um, she was fantastic. Who was that? She was a teacher. She was the oh, okay, teacher? Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I really like her. Right. She's she's been in a few other movies that I've watched. Um, and yeah, fantastic in those as well. And I really liked her in this. Uh, lads, you know how every week I put up on Instagram and Twitter what movie we're reviewing. And, and I ask forgot our, to put it on Facebook. <laughs> and ask <laughs> our slicey slices out there uh, what they thought of the film. And we normally guess uh, how many people... Uh, sure. Them. Let's um, say one. Well, going from last week's uh, all-time low... Of yep. zero on all accounts. <laughs> I'm gonna ooh, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go back to the to the old casual two. The old casual two, Kane Dogs. Yep. Uh one. Well, do we count a retweet from my mum as one? Yep. Yep. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We got it. We got one. We got a retreat from my mum. A retreat? A retreat. We got a retreat, guys. We're going. We're going exploring Ooh. out into the wilderness. Are we going in a Melbourne city? Bloody Toyota Explorer. Yeah, we bloody are going in a bloody Toyota Corolla Explorer. Ooh, <laughs> bloody so, crawling around. Uh, yeah, we're... <laughs> those wheels are gonna be bloody crawling up the bloody side of Australia. If you know what I mean. Right. Anyway, that's what the uh, Slicey Slices thought of that week. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, well, cool. if uh, uh, you want to leave us a quick message or, or tell us about a film that we're seeing, what? Yeah, yeah sure. No, exactly. Um, we're on pretty much everything. We are. Yep. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. If that's everything, we're on it. SoundCloud, yep. iTunes. Oh, I c- I d- can, yeah, you can... YouTube. You can say stuff on, on those. Give us a five-star rating on iTunes. <laughs> it's very important to us. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, do that. Yeah, someone rate us. That would be fun. I'll rate us. I rated us once. Did you? Yeah. Only two stars. Yeah. yeah. I no. rated it. I gave us no good. I gave us one star. Have you ever <laughs> listened to this? <laughs> no good. It's no good. It's <laughs> uh, a hard pass. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard pass for me. Uh, our next segment, Kane Dogs, you want to start us off? Would you recommend it? Who would you recommend it to? No, and no one. Cool, bro man, would you recommend it? Who would you recommend it to? Um, I'd say uh, this is a very chill film to watch. You can kind of just catch it whenever. Don't go to the movies to see this one. Yeah. Yep. Catch, catch it on a streaming service. Catch it with your SO. Not when even you're, when you're, that. When you're just like chilling out at a night at home. Yep. Whatever. I agree. I think this, yeah, I think this is a perfect Netflix and chill movie. See, yeah. I think... Yeah, you can definitely switch off on this one. I would, yeah, I would recommend it to anyone that loves Kevin Hart. I think this is a very Kevin Hart-centric oh, yeah. film. Um, it was produced by Kevin Hart's production company. Yep, no. It was that. written by Kevin Hart. Oh, really? Uh, yep. Yeah, him and another five people or so. Wow. So, like, all yeah, the people that were like, can't say that. He kind of had his, kind of had his, he had his thumb in a lot of pies for this movie. Um, 
And yeah, anyone who enjoys Ruined Kevin Hart and anyone who enjoys Tiffany Haddish. Uh, anything else on this film before we head on into you spoilers? Spoil spoilers. Um, yeah, yeah, just a just a quick thing. Uh, fuck you. Spoilers! Oh, what a cool, 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 cool sound effect, I guess. <laughs> All right, we are in the spoiler section where we dissect and divulge everything about the movie. If things get spoiled, you cannot hold us accountable in the court of law. So help me God, rest in peace. I think you did that exactly correct. That's, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. That's exactly yeah. how uh, it goes. First off, do we have any cinema dicks, boys? Yes, we do. So, it's in the cinema. Uh-huh. There are two... Yep. Good. One that's in the cinema this time. <laughs> Small hand in, clap for Jordan. In the cinema. Yeah. And there were two kids. Teenage, they would have been like 16 or oh, 17. Yeah, rough. But they were yeah. like the... Youths! The, the rough kind. Ugh. Like, they yeah. came in and they ran up to someone and it must... Dacked him. It was like their... No, it was like their, their auntie or something who was, just happened to be in the cinema. <laughs> and they went up and they were like... Hey, so this funny thing happened. We were just asking this guy to try and buy some uh, beer and cigarettes, and uh, he did, but he accidentally bought us uh, a bottle of wine as well. So now we have a bottle of wine and some cigarettes and a beer, and they smelt fucking terrible. Like, you smelt cigarettes from... Like old... cigarettes or just B.O.? Like, both. Like, like both. <laughs> but mainly cigarettes. Yeah. But that's because, like, they were talking to someone just, like, the row in front of us. And then the girl just FaceTimed someone and talked. And they continued to just, like laugh and get up and swap seats and play with the armchairs and fucking call people through the whole film. Ugh. And they kept getting up and leaving the cinema like at least every 15 minutes. Just put your bloody phones away, guys. Like, it was like the, 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 the person that owns the studio was their father or something, but they just didn't give a fuck at all. And no it good. was infuriating. Mm. Bro, man, do, do you have any dicks in your cinema? Yep. Bro, so, just grabbed himself a banana. One of those bananas. Um, bloody phones on full brightness, <laughs> bloody animals. <laughs> animals that can text. I'm done. <laughs> for the podcast? Or for the- <laughs> yeah. No, no, Anyone now sit in silence for the, for the remainder of the podcast? Full brightness. Wait, let me say that again. Full brightness. I bet you they aren't bloody running on full brightness. Oh, you bloody you what, right. I laid them out of the film and did, yes. Dull as a... You guys are talking, dull as a talking bloody, more manly than usual. Dull as... No, I've, I'm all, I always talk like this. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, what a baby you're doing. Well, have I talking? gone down an octave? No, you've gone up an octave. That's why we sound Have I so... gone... Is that how octaves yeah. work? Yeah, you Yeah. <laughs> if, yeah. We've, if anything, we've gone down octaves, but we haven't because this is how we normally bloody talk. Yeah, all right, right, mate. You little I... puss... You little, <laughs> you little should, boss I, boy. should I try and man it up a bit? Yeah, you bloody man it oh. up. Where oh, it, where bloody it? bloke. I'm a bloke and I love a bloody uh, we're, footy, football. Oh, we're I'm all intolerant here at the Films Life Podcast with old outdated if anything, views the people of masculinity. That are, <laughs> if anything, the people that are still listening to this are tolerant. What was your favourite part of the film, Anglis Panglis? I have a cinema dick as well. Oh, you uh, also I, have a cinema dick. I got a cinema dick. dick. Uh, so, yeah... Same with cane dogs, uh, a few people on their phones. Same with uh, Bro Man. Uh, there was a bunch of lads, absolute lads. Yes. Bloody that, hate some um, lads. You know, just did the, the, uh, the old woo and wolf whistle. Woo. And there was the sexy girl with lingerie on the she screen. She uh, was a respectable person. She, she was very respectable and she should not be treated that way. Or objectified, no. Objectified, not exactly. Not at all. But... The worst thing... Absolute worst thing. Absolute worst thing was at the end, people stood up and clapped. Oh. Oh. (laughs) Not to this film. Stood up and clapped the film. Not even good during a good film. The worst kind of people. (laughs) Who are you clapping for? Uh, Who are you clapping for? Who are you clapping for? All right, let's get into it. Uh, Most positive thing about the film... Cane dogs, seen as you will likely have the weakest positive, <laughs> you go first. There's one scene where the uh, guy who was a waiter got fired and he wants to be uh, like a pop star and he's singing at uh, like a school bowl. A high school prom. Mm. The prom. And then there are the other two side characters are backup singers. And I laughed during that yeah. scene. 
That's my only positive, Angus. Right. That was a good. That was good fun. That that's, was a good that's, my, game. that's my favorite and only favorite scene. Fair enough, Broadman. Most positive. Um, I really liked that Kevin Hart's character uh, failed the test. Yeah. I really liked that he had to Me go too. and do it a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and then like finally, I think a sixth yeah. time in order to pass. I think it sends a really good message, and I I kind of liked the message behind uh, this film where it's like, yeah, if you didn't pass high school, like don't be ashamed of yourself. Um, like go back and try again if you want to and if you fail try again yeah and if you fail try again yeah exactly it's, it's yeah. like don't put like don't like rest all of your success on this like one day or this one moment or whatever yeah that's try it. again keep trying I the, really really enjoyed that as part of the story I, re- I really is, like that as well the problem is is Brody's statement there is far better put together and far better said than the hour and a half of this movie trying to say that No, <laughs> yeah. you're wrong. <laughs> no. um, yeah, I, I really like that as well. It was kind of coming towards the end where everyone was opening up their, you know, opening mm. up their... Um, and I was I was there and I was waiting for them to do the thing which they even made fun of doing. Yeah. Where she yeah. pretends that he failed and yeah. then he actually succeeded. And he's like, I was like, was uh, like stop playing. Yeah, uh, I was like, I was that, I was that, during that moment, I was just sitting there and I was like, I really hope he fails this mm. test. And yeah. he did. He did, yeah. And it was a really kind of um, gratifying, satisfying moment to be in a film that I'm not. I wasn't a huge fan of, yeah. but it was kind of like I'm glad that they actually made a good story decision in a comedy. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I agree, totally agree. Um, my most positive thing, besides the fact um, that Tiffany Haddish was in it, I liked how the style of it was a bit quirky. Like there was. There was kind of the how the things were jumping off the page and and everything for for Kevin Hart and like those kind of things kind of get overlooked in your typical B grade comedy film like normally it's just like stand up improv kind of that kind of thing but it actually had some stylistic elements to it which I really enjoyed okay. um, stuff like that and like stuff like when um, Tiffany Haddish's face popped up like in front of in front of his wife laying in bed like no. you know you gotta study kind of thing like you don't really see that in no i thought that was anymore. i thought that was very kind of youtube uh comedy yeah yeah for me. yeah that, that, that sort of or thing. like kind of reminds me of like that 70s show because i feel like it happens in that show, oh, yeah. show like a few times and, like kind of older older comedies like use that a bit but i haven't seen it in any recent comedies but i feel like yeah. stylistically it is it is, it is... It slightly different which was good it kind of <laughs> yeah. differentiated it from from other other things uh, most negative cane dogs. I will let you have one sentence. All right, Broadman. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, I can do this. Well, that's one. That's a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like every single beat of this movie was predictable. Every single thing that happened from start to finish, every scene before it happened, I knew it was going to be the next scene. Start to finish... Did you know that he was going to fail? I predicted that, yeah, person? because it's in the fucking trailer. So, huh. start to finish, <laughs> beat to beat, there you go. I predicted everything. The minute he was, the minute the waiter was like, oh, I'll get my revenge, I'm like, all right, well, he'll be in that school. The minute he was, he she, he had a female teacher, I was like, all right, well, he hasn't told his missus where he is and he's got a female teacher, that's going to be misconstrued. The minute he was in a barbecue store and everything's on fire, I'm like, all right, well, very clearly he's going to blow up everything. That every single thing that happened, I knew what was... I Within the first three seconds set up of the scene, mm. I knew how the scene was going to end and what scene would follow it. Birdman, most negative thing about the film. Uh, the CG of him flying out of the barbecue mm. shop was quite yeah. bad. Yeah. Um, also, I just really didn't like that scene. I didn't like the performances of either the two actors, Kevin Hart and whatever her name is. I've seen her in something before. I can't remember what her name is. Yeah. His fiance during the film. And uh, the CG and the kind of the way that it's set up, I feel I felt like they could have done that scene f- better, funnier. And they could have even had him like being on fire trying to hide it from her. And yeah, I think that could have yeah. been quite funny. <laughs> they didn't need to blow up the entire store. Yeah, definitely. And I think um, they could have they probably could have stretched out the gag a bit. Yeah. Um, whereas right. this was kind of just like a literally just like a big bang and that was it whereas yeah. if if I guess if he did like a Mr. Bean kind of thing where it kind of kept on escalating 
mm. until it started burning down the whole place. Yeah, so like that 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 whole scene, I just really didn't like their performances and kind of just kind of most a lot of the stuff around the scene. And I also I also I really like it in films where something happens in an earlier scene that kind of adds something to a later scene. Yeah. Like, if he had, like, burnt his arm, his arm was in, like, in a cast, and he was having a little bit of trouble writing, like, at night school or something, even if it's, like, a throwaway thing where it's just a single scene where he takes the pen from his right hand and puts it in his left hand, and they don't even talk about it, I really like that. Yeah. And Because yeah. it's just, like, little things like that. And I would have liked it, it if... It proves that the writer is paying attention to the things he's writing down. Yeah, and there's kind of and there's kind of some uh, kind of overall sense of realty and, mm. and realty realness reality reality <laughs> one of those four you can take your, your, you can take your pick there. um th- there is a sense of that and it kind of it just helps mesh uh, a film together and i would have liked to have seen that in the scene where they're all trying to jump from one roof to another yeah if true. either the person who fell and very badly injured themselves if they like arm was in a cast for the rest of the film mm. or if kevin hart fell and bro- broke his arm and he had to try to explain it to his fiance yeah and true. i think i would have liked that was like something in there. Yeah, I that actually was, didn't notice kind of that when when the dude fell off the thing and like his broke and arm dislocated was like his arm. Dislocated. Yeah. In the next scene, I actually he, thought that was a li- that was pretty funny because uh, I really wasn't have... expecting him to have such yeah. a harsh. Fall oh, it was brutal. where he like he like hit the other roof, slipped Absolute, off, hit yeah. his back on a uh, on a railing, and then landed on the here's, flight my, of stairs. My whole cinema just went oh yeah. Like, yeah. Here's the but, thing with that scene, but. Before we go into that, yeah, yeah. Um, leading on from that scene goes into my most negative thing about this film, really, uh, which is the vomit. Oh, it happens, oh, yeah. happens in every. Yeah. As soon as it happened, comedy, I was, I was like, oh, yeah. As soon God. as it happened, I was like, American comedy. There it goes again. My girlfriend like, looked at me and I audibly sighed. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't. I wasn't even disgusted. I was like. Because right, here's the thing that happened. Uh, at least it, it wasn't like weird CGI vomit. Which, which yeah, is what a, a lot it of the hit films him, it was have like been. like Nickelodeon slime. Yeah. No. But yeah. the thing no is, good. when that fall happened, I was like, props to not just doing, a, oh, he landed on his balls. Like, props to doing just an actual fall. And then the guy vomited, and I was like, plus one, minus one. Like, back to zero. <laughs> like, like, it was just, uh, oh. Yeah. They yeah, nearly no did good. something, and I was like, oh, they didn't just go for the, he landed on, he landed on his balls. Yeah. Get on him. Like, the fall was brutal. And, like, that whole scene, like, I was enjoying <clears> until. It finished with the vomit. Mm. I'm like, well, it's just unnecessary. Like, and it's not funny. It's I also just, expected yeah. the vomit to keep going. I expected him to vomit, be like, sorry, that's that's all it is. And then to keep going. And I was like, if this keeps going, I'm actually walking out of the cinema. And that's mm. just the review I'll give. Like, yeah, this film gave me nothing to like about it. Meh. So nothingness. I didn't mind the principal character. I like the, I like the to and fro from um, Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart. I think those two... Working off each other was was really good. Oh, I found their chemistry was fine. The, the only problem with that to me is that it's not my kind of co- comedy. Yeah. So it's like yeah. as, as while I'm, while I'm not like laughing at that moment, I'm not like I don't have anything like against it. You know, it's yeah. like if if that's your type of comedy, then that's then yeah. that's kind of good. Um, another thing which was just an overall for this entire film of how pristine it was, like they use such like like high def cameras mm. and all of the colors were kind of like corrected perfectly and all of the set dressing was so pristine to the point where there was like not even like a sticker on like a locker in like the school and stuff yeah where it felt just like just like a little bit too much where it was just like maybe just even just a little bit fake where i was just like it just like it got to the point where i just thought this is just too perfect just looks a bit yeah yeah and i guess it might be just a like a part of me that's like so used to british and australian comedies yeah where that's yeah. that's not like the case and it's just kind of yeah just it felt off too clean because it was way too clean that's fair and our yeah, school that's did totally not fair. look like that no. yeah <laughs> another thing that kind of looked a bit too clean or maybe like uncooked was the i don't know if you guys noticed it but the titles right at the start they didn't yeah. seem like real movie. Titles. Oh yeah, they kind of looked like they were like in the same art. kind of text as like Letterman jackets. Yeah, have. that kind yeah, of stuff. That like, was, it, it was a bit unusual. I understand what they were going for, but for some reason, that kind of annoyed me that it like, it just didn't seem yeah. No, no. There's also some- oh, the the song that the film started with is overused so yeah. much. Yeah, so this film opened 
where he was in a slightly different spot than I expected him to be, and then I was like, maybe I'll sum this movie up too quickly, and it's actually got a different story arc than the trailer has shown. And then straight back to being everything I knew it would be, and not a little bit better. There was no mint in my garbage for me, Brody. There's no mint. Don't know what you're referring to, but fine. Uh, apparently cut. Jordan needs mints out of garbage. Please don't cut Weird. Brody's original statement out <laughs> so that none of it makes sense. <laughs> Uh, Brody made a reference to garbage and mint. I'm not a weirdo. Cool. Um, anything else to do with this film? I I don't think I'd be overly keen to see anything like anything else like this for a while though. I think there's a finite amount of this kind of high school comedy. Well, gear up, Angus, because you're doing a film it. podcast, and guess what? Yeah. What? You'll be seeing one of these every three weeks until we die. <clears throat> I think I'm a little bit burnt out on American comedies. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Totally should have watched Ladies in Black, but whatever. I mean, <laughs> 90% of our listeners won't know what that is. I don't know. My mum knows. Yeah, well, and she's 50%. She's 50%, yeah. <laughs> so there's 100% of the comments. Come say that's, that's 10%. <laughs> All right, K Dogs, do you have anything else? Uh, uh, sorry, do you have an idea on how we could uh, end this here podcast? Look, I do, but it's pretty weak. Do we just stay up until it's night time? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, in the, in the, the sake longest of, podcast ever. In the sake of having to go back and do a test, uh-huh. I thought I would give you guys um, a, a small quiz. Oh, Lord. Take it away, Jordan. Take away your okay. quiz. Okay, so seriously, take it away. Quiz on us. <laughs> Get it out of here. Cut it out. And leave. <clears throat> take it. Take away your quiz. Uh, You're not so, the Lord. So just some just some things that you guys do know about me, but I'm gonna see if you remember them. Oh, so it's not a quiz. Oh, it's, like oh, a it's not a quiz, quiz on high school Can you imagine uh, if education. School was like this, it's a quiz on <laughs> Jordan's background. Can you imagine history. if like your it's history like me, teacher you know? came up and said like, "All right." When did I get my first tooth out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, was it in the book? It I, forgot, was in the I book. forgot to read the journals of age five to six. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, tooth out? Five, six, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All take, right. take away the quiz. When did I have my first tooth out? No. Um, quiz boy, Jordan King. The King Dogs uh, Quiz. Okay, so- the King Dogs Quiz. Hey, it's listening to the K Dogs quiz. Hey, feel free to play at home, everybody. Yep. All right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So to start with, I thought I just can can either of you name three out of my five favorite movies? Terminator <laughs> is definitely on your worst movie list, so that won't be there. And it would have been uh, wrong as Terminator Two Judgment Day would have been correct. Uh, that's a tick for Brody. Um, I can do all these because I did these uh, yes, yeah, b- about I, two years ago. I oh, well, that's and, not fair. and I got through, I think, seven. <laughs> so, so maybe we'll leave this one to Angus then. Yeah, Angus, yeah, yeah. can you name three of my five? I have an actual list. There are five movies on that list. Can you name three of them? Terminator. We're not going to count that because Brody gave it to you. I said Terminator <laughs> first. Yeah, oh, it's the wrong Terminator. Yeah, no. which Terminator? The one with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that. That's yeah, well, I guess we have to give that to him. Terminator 2. On the list. Okay. Um, one. I'm going to say... Predator? No. Nah. That's one strike. <laughs> nah. three, stri- three strikes and uh, Bodie will kick you in the balls. What? Ooh. We've organised it. Cool. So this is okay. a win-win um, for me. <laughs> But if Angus wins, he will kick you in the balls. Pitch perfect three. <laughs> that's, uh, that's two strikes for you. You now have two movies to name and one strike left. Wolverine. Correct. Which movie? Wolverine movie. Come on, mate. My finger's going back down. He's in 13 movies, Angus. I think you'll find he's actually in 14. No, he's, he's in 13. The 14th X-Men movie at that point was Deadpool, which he's not actually in. I think you'll find that he was. I think you better name the right <laughs> movie. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll uh, sit here in the living room watching two unusually small men uh, have a strange and interesting... Discourse. Unusually small men. Yeah, well, I'm normal-sized. You're 6'3". 6'4". <laughs> 
Which is normal. That's standard sized. <laughs> for, for Australian blokes. <laughs> Us Australians, we're huge. Is it a Bruce Lee film? No. Oh, well. You still haven't named the right... <laughs> you still haven't named the right... These are movies you know. You still haven't named the right... Wolverine movie. Wolverine. <laughs> the Wolverine. No, is it Logan? Yes, it's yeah. Logan. <laughs> Wolverine. The Wolverine. Yeah, What's Wolverine, sad Wolverine. is that movie exists, so it's called Wolverine the Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. There's also or- oh jeez. Okay, Angus, you you have one strike um and 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 there's there's still three movies left for you to pick from. Okay, well it's the, Batman's definitely in there. Which Batman? <laughs> Joker Batman. <laughs> <laughs> there's still three of those. The one with Batman and the Joker. <laughs> there's three of those. <laughs> um <laughs> That Gordon guy's in there. Uh, He's also in all of them. <laughs> um, the Duck. The Duck. The Duck Knight. <laughs> Returns. The... <laughs> just, just give me an answer and I'll lock it in. Just, just give me an answer and I'll lock it in. The Dark Knight. Correct. Well done. Good job. Well done for not saying any other words after that. The Dark Knight. Well done. The, the Batman Joker one. <laughs> no, there's three of those. The one with the Joker. <laughs> yep. There's Gordon's in it. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Film Size Podcast. You Did can reach us on Twitter, you can reach us on Instagram or Facebook or yes, SoundCloud yes. and iTunes and all that jazz tune in next week when we review a completely new movie all Ooh. this movie again when's venom we coming might. out guys next is that, week. Ne- is that, that's what, is that what we're doing next week mm. yeah oh mm. that's interesting that's another movie great